Over the last few years, we have seen a surge in population growth in Northern Michigan and specifically Petoskey. Today, I wanna to talk a little bit about why I believe that is happening. Hi, my name is Gino D'Angelo. I'm a local Northern Michigan real estate agent specializing in helping you relocate to Petoskey and anywhere in Northern Michigan. First and foremost, one of the reasons people are relocating to Northern Michigan and specifically Petoskey is the natural beauty. I've had countless clients tell me that the reason they decided to consider moving to Petoskey to begin with was to get out of the hustle and bustle of the city life and live a more laid back lifestyle. Most of the people that are relocating here are coming from large metropolitan areas, whether it's Southeast Michigan, Grand Rapids, or even Texas or California. And something that makes Petoskey very unique that you can't find everywhere is the ability to live the vacation lifestyle year round. Most people that have moved here started off by becoming visitors. They either have a cottage or family that live in the area, and once they came here, they fell in love with it and decided they needed to figure out a way to make Petoskey their full-time residence. And as I mentioned earlier, if you like recreation, you're going to love Petoskey. Petoskey has four seasons, all offering individual recreation options that people that live here love. Everybody is aware of what summertime in Northern Michigan is like, but I believe the winters here are underrated. During the holidays, Petoskey comes to life and looks like something out of a Hallmark movie. With the tree lighting downtown and the many winter activities that happen downtown, it's really a sight to see if you've never seen it before. And typically shortly after the holiday season, the ski season starts. Now Petoskey is located about halfway between three great ski resorts. In Boyne Falls, you've got Boyne Mountain, which is a large Boyne property that has great lodging options, a water park, and of course, great ski hills. A little further north in Harbor Springs, you have Boyne Highlands, which is another Boyne property, and also a local favorite, Nubs Knob. If you've never been to Nubs Knob before, you have to check it out and make sure you get the curly fries. And as we phase into spring and summer, we have a bunch of championship golf courses here as well as many hiking trails. And of course, my personal favorite, the Little Travers Wheelway, which connects Charlevoix to Harbor Springs, which is great for road biking, running, jogging, or even walking. Now, I don't know if this is true or not, but I believe one of the reasons that we're not talking about enough for people moving to Petoskey is the growing desire to live a healthy lifestyle. If you're here in the summer, you're going to see the Little Travers Wheelway is packed with people as I mentioned earlier, riding their bikes, walking, pushing a stroller, or walking their dog. I truly believe as the world gravitates towards being a little more healthy, that areas that have a very vibrant outdoor recreational lifestyle are gonna be continue to be more popular. And that is just one of the reasons I believe Petoskey continues to see a population growth. Outside of the recreational opportunities, I believe the small town charm is another one of the reasons people are flocking to Petoskey. Now, while we do have a couple of chain restaurants here, most of the restaurants, especially downtown, are small upscale restaurants that people love. Whether it's Chandler's, Palette, Poor, or even Tab 30, there are so many cool dining options in downtown Petoskey that you'll never get sick of going out to eat. Also, another local favorite is the Backlot. The Backlot is a collection of six food trucks with an indoor bar, and it's a really cool environment in the summertime. Also, surprisingly, Petoskey is even getting a few more cultural foods. In fact, we have an Indian restaurant that opened here a couple of years ago that people love. Another aspect about moving here that I found my clients feel is important is the low crime rate. A lot of areas around the country, whether we like it or not, are experiencing higher than normal crime rates, and that is something we have not seen yet in Northern Michigan. In fact, Petoskey remains one of the safest places to live in the entire country. In addition to safety, another quality of life factor that causes people to move here is excellent healthcare. We have a great hospital, McLaren, which a lot of people are familiar with, that offers any type of care you need. And as people age, they wanna be closer to hospitals, and that is another reason a lot of people have decided to call Petoskey home. Another reason people love Petoskey, and this is one of the reasons I moved to Petoskey about 10 years ago, is the school system. Petoskey has some phenomenal schools. I've had a couple of clients who have moved here whose kids were in private schools in other areas that after touring Petoskey Public Schools, felt like the quality of education in Petoskey was just as good as the private school they left somewhere else. Also, Petoskey does have a great private school, which my son attends, which is the St. Francis Catholic School, which is about a block away from my office. On average, if you look at all the schools in Petoskey combined, the ratio to student to teacher is 17 to one, which is much lower than the national average. This means your student will have a better educational experience, which will prepare them better for college. Now, while a lot of the country has seen a decline in employment, Petoskey has actually seen a surge in employment also. 
Part of this is because we have more people here, and when you have more people, you need more jobs to service them. Another reason I believe that we've seen an increase in jobs here is the people that moved to Northern Michigan have chosen to support local businesses. This has caused the influx in population to shop more locally, causing the local businesses to need add more staff. Now, this may surprise a lot of you watching this video who have seen my other videos about the housing costs in Petoskey. And although prices in Petoskey have gone up, over the last five years. Petoskey is still an affordable place compared to other places around the country. In fact, recently I met somebody who was considering buying a second home in Newport Beach, California. Now, if you're familiar with that area, it is incredibly expensive and they had never heard of Petoskey specifically. During their search, they stumbled upon Bay Harbor and found a house there that was considerably less than the house they were considering purchasing in Newport Beach, and they felt that it was a much better value. Now, I'll be honest, I can't have a conversation these days without the cost of living in Petoskey coming up. Most of the people who have lived here a while or who have paid attention to the values in Petoskey for a while continue to talk about how high the prices are. And I get it, the prices here are considerably higher than they used to be. However, when you're drawing a national audience, which we now are, whether we like it or not, they are going to look at the price of Metoskey based on other areas in the country. And I'm here to tell you the price of a house Metoskey is still much less expensive than other areas around the country. And I personally predict we're going to see prices continue to go up as the demand increases for the few houses we have available. Another aspect of living in Petoskey that I love is just how many things there are to do. It seems like every weekend, year round, there's some sort of event, whether it's the 4th of July, the boat shows, the farmer's market, the tree lighting. It seems like every season brings a new wave of activities or things going downtown. And the Chamber of Commerce does a great job of making sure Nobody Petoskey is ever bored. If after watching this, you would like to learn more about what it would be like to live in Petoskey, feel free to reach out to me directly at 231-487-6141. And if you have any questions or if there's anything we didn't talk about, please drop a comment below and I'll answer it myself.